Hello my dear students. Today we are going to do question answers from this poetry that is The Voice of the Rain which is penned by Walt Whitman, American writer. Okay, so the explanation of the poetry I have already done in another video. Here I am going to discuss only questions and answers. Alright, and according to the new system we have to focus on MCQs to check whether the students have understood minutely or not. Therefore, here you will find short question answers, MCQs and long question answers. Okay, so please be ready to understand the question and answers. Let's begin. First question is, mention all the literary devices used in the poem. So here we find the question on literary devices. There are specifically two literary devices. One is personification and another one is metaphor. Now let's see where do we find personification and what is it. Personification is a figure of a speech in which the writer attributes life and mind to non-living things. And who art thou? In this line, Whitman addresses an inanimate object and that is rain therefore it is personification because rain cannot speak okay next is metaphor metaphor means comparison with two different things comparison between two different things so here we find comparison of poetry with rain the poem of the earth is a strong metaphor used to identify the qualities of the rain with those of a poem just as rain has the power to thrill, soothe and heal, so as a poem. So I hope this question is clear. Let's move to another question. Question number two. And who art thou? Said I to the soft falling shower, which, strange to tell, gave me an answer, as here translated. I am the poem of the earth, said the voice of the rain eternal i rise impalpable out of the sea out of the land and the bottomless sea so from this question uh, from this extract we have question number one is who is being addressed here option a a woman option b the poet option three a stranger and option d the rain so here the rain is being addressed Next question, what seems strange to the poet? Option A, the rains answering the poet's question. Option B, the rains keeping quiet. Option 3, the rains being the poem of the earth. And number 4, the suddenness of the rains reply. So here, the strange thing is that the rain answered the poet poet's question okay option number one is correct option number one is the correct answer next is i am the poem of the earth here we find poetic which poetic device we find option a alliteration option b metaphor option c personification and option d simile so here we find metaphor next who is eternal the rain the poem of the earth the earth the song of the rain. So here the rain is eternal. Question number three. Upward to heaven whence vaguely formed altogether changed and yet the same. I descend to leave the draughts atomic dust layers of the globe and all that in them without me were seeds only. Latent unborn. So here from question number three as extract we find First question and that is the I in the poem is option A water, option B the poet, option C the song of the rain and option D the rain. So here I in the poem is the rain. Next. The rain according to the poet is a source of option A life, option B death, option C cloud, option D water. According to the poet the Rain is the source of life. Question number C. 
the expression to live means to bathe to wet to sing and to dry so here the expression to live means to bathe okay to provide shower next what is the poet's attitude towards rain option a sympathetic option b satirical option c deprecating and option d appreciative so option d is correct and that is appreciative for a song issuing from its birthplace after fulfillment wandering wrecked or unwrecked duly with love returns question from this section is who is the speaker here the speaker is it the poet option 1 option 2 the rain option 3 the earth option d the song of the rain so here option a is correct option 1 is correct and that is the poet what is the origin of the rain option a the earth option b the sea water and other water sources option 3 the river water and option d streams so here the origin of the rain is the earth because on earth we find both land and water okay both land and water from where evaporation takes place what does the rain purify and beautify option a the atmosphere option b the sea option 3 this is option 3 okay there is typing mistake and option 4 the forest so answer is the earth because earth includes everything the sea also the land as well okay next number b the return of the song signifies option a the return of the singer option b the nature of the rain song option 3 the nature of the everyday song option d the completion of the cycle of the rain so here option d is correct it symbolizes the return of the song symbolizes the completion of the cycle of rain okay let's move to question number 5 there are two voices in the poem who do they belong to which lines indicate this there are two voices in the poem those of the rain and the poet okay and these are the lines which suggest the same and who art thou said i to the soft falling star i am the poem of the earth said the voice of the rain so here the po the poet is asking who is the rain and the rain is answering it is the poem of the earth so these two lines indicate that there are two voices next number 6 what does the phrase is strange to tell me it means that it is strange that inanimate rain gave answer to the poet okay and this is an example of personification we know that it is happening in imagination of the poet there is a parallel drawn between rain and music which words indicate this explain the similarity between the two so here this is very important question in all the examinations it comes so please be careful and uh, write down point wise in your copy i am the poem of the earth it indicates that there is similarity eternal i rise impalpable this is another uh, word another phrase which shows similarity between the song and the rain i am the poem of the earth here there is comparison with the poem eternal i rise and impalpable eternal both song music poetry all these three things are eternal it never dies and the same goes with rain as well rain also never dies when it is started when it is going to end we don't know the same goes with songs as well age old songs still we are read, still we are listening to right so it is it will be continued and how long it will be continued we don't know therefore there is similarity that poetry is eternal so is the rain next impalpable we cannot touch it we can just feel songs okay the words of the songs we cannot touch but we can listen and we can enjoy it next and make pure and beautify now see whoever listens to it whoever witnesses 
the natural entity then they become happy they find it beautiful okay and they find it pure as well so this is another comparison next soft falling star it's not harsh music is not harsh not even the rain by receiving these two things we find soothing effect by which we forget all our troubles of life i descend to leave the drops both the song and the rain the song and the rain has power to leave the drought areas it means the barren life of human being will be better it will be enjoyable it will be enlightening after the arrival of something new called song or music or poetry okay the same thing happens to the land when rain arrives to it for song issuing and with love it returns see in this line also we find similarity because rain and song it covers all the three phases of life from first it is created it goes towards the audience and then it comes back so it is completing three processes on the way therefore it is compared here both rain and music have the power of falling softly one on the parched lands and the other on human souls they are life givers without rain and music everything is only seeds latent and unborn they make pure and beautify things and human beings as well how is the cycle how is the cyclic movement of rain brought out in the poem compare it with what you have learned in science see children this you, have, you can write in your own words as well my answer is walt whitman brings out cyclic movement of the earth first it rises out of the land and the sea then it soars into the sky where it takes the shape of the cloud and then descends to bathe the drops and other things in science we have learned how water on the earth and in the sea takes the shape of the water vapor that is evaporation process then it becomes cloud condensation and then finally it takes the shape of the rain that is precipitation evaporation condensation and precipitation so through these three processes it covers cyclic movement of the rain next question is what why are the last two lines put within bracket this is also another important question for the students the last two lines are put in brackets because they serve the purpose of additional information on music which is not the subject matter of the poem see the first few lines are spoken by the rain but last two lines are not the words of the rain it is the assumption of the poet after listening to the rain it is his assumption about the situation so it is within the bracket in order to segregate from the rain's conversation it has been put within bracket it is parallelism between rain and music with the sample it is parallelism between rain and music with the simple cyclic movement an impact on men matters and vegetation next question number 10 whom does the poet address why is he surprised first point is the poet feels fascinated as he watches the shower of the rain suddenly he puts a question to the rain who are you when the rain answers back he is surprised as he was never expected as he has never expected that the rain will answer him this is your answer let's move to the question number 11 in which mood is the poet the poet is in happy curious mood he wants to have a dialogue with something that revitalizes everything and touches his heart so these points should not be missed out in the examination see children i'm not going through much explanation here because you have to focus on answers 
and explanation is done in another video so please go through that if you want total explanation what does the rain tell the poet the rain tells the poet that it is the poetry of the earth it rises eternally eternally means never ending untouched by the human hands out of the land and the sea untouched shows that it is invisible then it takes a vague form but remains the same it takes the vague form because cloud changes its shape okay now and then it changes its shape but the tiny water vapor tiny water vapor will have water droplets in it okay water droplets in it and the same thing we find in the rain as well so the core content is same even if the shape is changed let's move to next question how does rain descend and what and with what effect the rain descends on droughts tiny particles and dust of the earth it provides life to all on earth it when it falls without rain all things remain seeds only hidden and unborn so here the rain does so many things it beautifies our earth not only that it clears our environment and it gives life to entire species which are flourishing on the earth without rain everything will be useless what does rain do round the clock round the clock means day and night let's see the answer the rain is a life giving source it gives back life to its own origin and that is earth it purifies and beautifies its own origin that is earth and the sea in this way it is busy in something constructive round the clock round the clock it is to indicate that the task of nature is never ending it continues it was continued it is being continued and it will remain continued in future as well question number 15 in what sense does the rain become the voice of the rain voice of the earth see when rain falls the earth seems to find its expression in its freshness and coolness the earth seems to sing the rain becomes the form of the earth let's move to the next question what will happen if there is no rain the answer is obvious if there is no rain there won't be any new life on earth there won't be any beauty therefore it will look dull and barren land right all seeds will remain unborn it will remain inside the earth only there won't there won't be any sprouting there won't be any germination next dust particles impurities will be settled down because of the rain otherwise it will keep on floating in the atmosphere so there are multiple demerits if there won't be any rain next justify the title of the poem the poem is aptly titled the voice of the rain because the poet personifies rain to underline its numerous blessings to the earth it is the rain which gives new life to the earth it becomes the poem of the earth without poem the life is ruined it's barren the same thing happens to the rain if it is not there on earth so children here you will find eight questions and you all have to try to answer all the questions by yourselves and see whether you all are ready for the examination or not